Okay, so let's say end of the world scenario. Everybody who reloads their own bullets using smokeless powder is now not only out of smokeless powder and has no way to get it, because it's actually very complicated to uh, manufacture, but they're also out of uh, brass casings, you know, because you can only reload them so many times before they're toasted. So what do you do? Well, you make black powder. Now, let's say you're looking for the three chemicals. You know you need saltpeter. Now, you can make saltpeter. All you need to do is get a pile of, like, cow manure, mix it in with some uh, sticks and stems, and especially some wood ash, because you're trying to create saltpeter, which is potassium nitrate. Well, you're getting your nitrate out of the shit. And uh, the potassium, as well, comes from a lot of the plant matter or... Uh, you know, you could use potato leaves in there. Everywhere I've read, you need to have at least a six-foot high pile of cow manure. A lot of people will make it 15 feet long. And uh, I know you got to put the wood ash in there for whatever reason. Um, maybe that's where the potassium comes from. I'm not sure. But that's the primary things you need. You need some cow shit and some wood ash. And uh, you want it to be porous, so you put the different sticks and vegetation type stuff in there. In the climate I live in, in Houston, Texas, or near Houston, Texas, you can make a couple thousand pounds of saltpeter in about three to four months just because we're so warm and humid here. And it's important that when you're doing that, when you're making your saltpeter, you want to put it on either a clay earth bed with, you know, clay because it's not permeable so you're, you won't lose your saltpeter. Um, or you can do it on a like a tarp, like a blue tarp. Um, and there's a couple other options. I think the tarp would be the easiest. So you put down a tarp, you pile up your cow poo, you put your wood ash in there, and some uh, sticks and stems and leaves to make it nice and porous. Um, preferably vegetation that is high in potassium. Potato leaves are what a lot of people recommend. And uh, once you get that, you're also going to want to protect it from the elements. So some people either put hay on top of it or build a little tin roof over it or just put another tarp over it. Um, that's probably the easiest. Put a tarp down, pile up your shit in wood ash and, and uh, vegetation, and then put another tarp over it. Uh, once a week, you're going to douse it in, I would say, just septic septic water, you know. Basically, um, poopy water and, and pee. You could probably just go and pee on it once a week or dump a, a quite a large, it's going to take a large amount of it, so hopefully you got a septic tank, you can just dump some septic stuff on there. And in three to four months, you'll see all the yellow crystals form on top, you uh, scrape those off, and you also leach out all the, um, the stuff in there, get your saltpeter out of the, uh, of the uh, compost dirt. And that's how you make your saltpeter. If you want to know how to do that, you can look it up and get more detailed information. And the easier part that I've already a uh, highlight in some of my videos is making your charcoal, preferably making it out of black willow. It stores the longest, it's the fastest burning, most powerful, maybe not necessarily the fastest burning, but it is the most powerful uh, charcoal wood that you can use. And so that's basically all you need. The third part is sulfur, and the reason I say that that is more of an optional option is because good luck finding sulfur if you don't live near a volcano rim. Um, now, I live on the Gulf Coast, uh, like I told you, in the, uh, I actually live in Galveston County, south, southeast of Houston, and we've got a lot of salt domes around here, um, but a salt dome, what that means is you got water coming in and out of a uh, canal or estuary system, and it's depositing salt in these salt domes, and anywhere you got salt domes, you're going to have a lot of sulfur forming, but it's within like five, it's 500 feet deep in the earth. Between 500 and 2,000 feet, you got all this sulfur. How do they get it out? They get three pipes, cram them down in there. They blast hot water in there in one pipe. They blast air in another pipe. And then the third pipe is to allow the sulfurous water to come back up to the surface where it piles up and they let it dry out in the sun. And then, you know, if you go down to Galveston, certain parts of Galveston Island, you'll actually see these massive piles of sulfur because this is one of the leading areas for uh, sulfur extraction. That's that's one method, that's one of the most common methods of sulfur extraction. Good luck getting uh, 600 foot long pipes down in the ground with hot water and all that stuff in an apocalyptic situation or whatever we're talking, whatever we're dealing with. I mean, 
you could probably find some sulfur, and I, I suggested this can be better powder, but if you can't, you do this. You, uh, you just use, use um, this is a ratio of, uh, I'm going to store it in here, 100 grams saltpeter, 24 grams black willow charcoal, and uh, it's not fully dried yet, but it's about to be. Uh, I'm going to test it and show you. I did take some of the stuff on the edges right here, dries quick, I already tested it. It looks like it's burning real good. It's got a violet colored flame to it. Um, it looks like it's some good stuff. So this is this is what you do in one of those events. You know, you could use this stuff to make like hand grenades. You could use it to fire cannons. Sulfur free black powder, which is what you would make in a post apocalyptic world. Cause Trust me, it's not going to be easy getting sulfur, not unless you live on the rim of a volcano or somewhere near it, uh, or like a, a hot water spring or something. It's between 500 and 2,000 feet deep in the earth. It's just not, not going to happen. So you can just get by with the saltpeter and black willow charcoal, which you can make all very, pretty easily. And it doesn't have to be black willow. I just recommend it. Here's your test. It's not quite as quick as anything with sulfur, but it's definitely quick enough. And that'll push a bull out of a gun pretty well.